Hi kids! Welcome to my channel! Let's have fun while learning! For today's lesson, we're going to study about the materials that can float or sink. Our main objective for today's lesson is to classify materials based on the ability to float or sink. Let's go! Let's answer this. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. I am a paper. When fold like a boat, I float on water. Is it A, boat? B, paper boat? C, plastic boat? Or letter D, styro boat? Go! The correct answer is letter B. Number 2. Which statement is true? A. All matter has mass and volume. Letter B. All matter has no mass and volume. Letter C. Not all matter has mass and volume. Or letter D. All matter has no mass and less in volume. Go! The correct answer is letter A. All matter has mass and volume. Number 3. Which object will completely sink in water? A. Cork and wood. B. Coins and pebbles. C. Egg and orange. Or letter D. Cork and plastic toy. Go! The correct answer is letter B, coins and pebbles. Number 4. What should be done with all the decaying materials found in your school? A. Throw them in the garbage can. B. Let your janitor collect all the decaying materials. C. Make a compost from the decaying materials. Or letter D, mix the decaying materials to non-decaying materials. Go! The correct answer is letter C. Make a compost from the decaying materials. Number 5. Which of these materials is absorbent? A. Porcelain plate. B. Water glass. C. Rubber gloves. Or letter D. Paper towel. Go! The correct answer is letter D. Paper towel. I hope you all got five correct answers. Play a game. This is three picks, one word. Spot the word that are similar to each other. We have five letters. Go! The correct answer is float. It means to stay on top. Let's have the second word. What is the correct answer? That's right, it is sink. The meaning is to fall to the bottom of water. Good job, kids! Now, let's proceed to this activity. What materials float and what material sink? Please bring the following materials with you. We have pail of water, plastic ball, metal spoon, stone, plastic cup, empty plastic bottle with cup, coin, styrofoam, and wooden pencil.
Observe each material, whether it will float or sink. Let's try this plastic ball. What do you observe? Very good, kids. It floats. Let's try this stone. What did you observe? Very good. Next, let's try a metal spoon. What happened to it? Very good. Now, let's try 5 peso coin. What happened? That's right. Now, let's have a plastic cup. What do you observe? Good job! Now, let's have a plastic bottle with cover. What happened to it? Correct! Now, let's have a wooden pencil. Did it float or sink? Very good! Now, let's have a small styrofoam. What happened to it? Very good! Now, let's try to remove the cover. What will happen to the plastic bottle? That's right! Good job, kids! Let's check your answers in our experiment. Classify the materials based on the ability to float or sink. Let's have the first one. We have plastic ball. Of course, it is an example of material that floats. Next, we have stone. So, it is sink. We have also metal spoon and a coin. Next, let's have Plastic cup. Plastic cup is an example of material that floats. We have also plastic bottle with cover, wooden pencil, and styrofoam. I hope you got it correctly. Based on our activity a while ago, plastic bowl, plastic cup, Plastic bottle with cover, wooden pencil, and a styrofoam are examples of materials that float. Some of these materials are made of wood and plastic. That's why it floats. Materials that sink are stone, metal spoon, and coin. As you can see, these materials is made up of metal and the other one is made up of stone. Here are the things that we should remember. The first one is the word sink. It means to fall to the bottom of water. For example, metal, stone, glass, and brick. The next word is float, means to stay on top. Example, styrofoam, balsa, wood, and plastic cup. An object shape can affect its ability to float, but some materials float no matter what their shape, just like the styrofoam and balsa wood. May I ask you this question? Why do some objects float or sink in water? 
You're right. It is because of their density. When we say density, it is the amount of mass of an object per unit volume. For example, if the density of an object is higher than the density of water, that object will sink in water. If the density is less than the density of the water, the object will float. The total density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. Here are the things that we should remember. Some things float on top of water, some things stay submerged part way down, and some things sink. Some things sink very fast and some things sink very slowly. And lastly, some things float at first but then sink as they absorb water or take water on through holes. Example is the paper towel. For further understanding, let me ask you this question. Why do some people use floaters or salvabida? in swimming pools. You're right! People use floaters in swimming pool to keep them afloat in water. Next question. Why do large boats or ships float on water? Correct! Large ships and boats float on water because the upward push of the water is greater than their weight. Let's check your understanding by answering this activity. Classify each material, whether it float or sink in water. The first one is paper clip. The second one, rock. The third one, tennis ball. Number four, ship. And number five, feather. Go! Let's check your answers if you are correct. The first one, we have paper clip. It is under the materials that sink. Next is rock. It is also sink. Number three, tennis ball. It is a material that float. We also have sheep and feather. I do hope you got five correct answers. For your last task, please bring your paper and answer these questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. For number one, which among the objects will float in water? A. A 5 peso coin B. Plastic ball C. A steel ball Or letter D. Big stone Go! The correct answer is Letter B. Plastic ball Number 2. If an object is denser than water, what will happen to it? A. The object will float in water. B. The object will sink in the water. C. The object will dissolve. Or letter D. The object will change its shape. Go! The right answer is letter B. The object will sink in the water. Number 3. What properties of materials are common among coins, spoon, and iron? 1. Non-porous 2. Porous 3. More dense than water 4. 
less dense than water? Is it A, non-porous and more dense than water? Letter B, non-porous and less dense than water? Letter C, more dense than water and porous? Letter D, non-porous only? Go! The correct answer is letter A, non-porous and more dense than water. Number four, why do you think are most boats made of balsa wood? A, balsa wood is durable. B, balsa wood is denser than water. C, balsa wood is less dense than water. Or letter D, Balsa wood is easy to shape into both. Go! The correct answer is letter C. Balsa wood is less dense than water. Number 5. Why do boats float in water? A. Boats are made of wood that make them float. B. Man uses paddle to make the boat float. C. The sea breeze makes the boat float in water. Or letter D. The boat is tied with plastic string that makes it float. Go! The correct answer is letter A. Boats are made of wood that make them float. I do hope you got a perfect score. Good job, kids! That's all for today. Thank you for listening and watching.